Hi everyone, it's Chrissy. Just wanted to say thanks to everyone who took the time to greet me on my birthday yesterday. I appreciate your LinkedIn PMs, Facebook messengers, and Facebook timeline as well as texts to my phone and WhatsApp messages. I do sincerely thank you for making my day happier because those messages were heartwarming. So thank you. I wanted to share with you a quote from a book I'm currently reading called Lifelong Yoga by Sage Roundtree. It's a book about maximizing your balance, flexibility, and core strength in your 50s, 60s, and beyond. This book is actually for all ages. I found that she has this wonderful quote on how things get better with age, and it's such a great quote. I think it's the perfect birthday thing to remember as well as you know in general about being happy with where you are in terms of time and space let me just grab the notes on where she got it so she actually quoted two sources and if you want the links for this i can send you these links so let me know and she quoted Deborah Netburns, The Aging Paradox, and this was in the Los Angeles Times, which was last modified on August 24, 2016, and also Karen Schrock Simring's Age Brings Happiness article, which appeared in The Scientific American, which was last modified on May 1, 2013, and here it goes. Things that get better with age. There's plenty of reason to celebrate every passing year. Self-confidence, body image, empathy, and decision-making all get better with age. And as we age, our stress levels tend to get lower. People report greater happiness in the later years of their lives. The older we are, the happier we are. In short, things may change, but a lot changes for the better. And that's so uplifting. I think too, as we move forward in time, we begin to know more about ourselves, what we like, what we don't like, our values, the kind of books and programs or, you know, movies that we like to see. And so just really knowing yourself helps you have more of that self-confidence. And I'm talking about real confidence, like being comfortable in your own skin and actually enjoying being you because... Let's face it, there's only one you in all the world and I think it's one of the greatest things to be fully expressing yourself. It doesn't have to be as bold as what my hair is right now, which is, by the way, for people that don't know, this is a digital filter. And so, as you know, I have shoulder length hair. It is naturally dark brown and I have dark brown eyes. But this filter from an app on my laptop called Snap Camera, it's free by the way, I'm not sponsored, I just really like it because for my um, coaching videos, I use the rainbow hair filter which has a lot of sparkly and I get unicorn colored hair. But I saw this one and I thought, oh my god, it matches my pendant which is blue lace agate, it's a crystal and you know, I just really like this and I think it's cute so thank you for joining me today and letting me share with you lifelong yoga actually I'd like to show you the book if you're interested in it lifelong yoga by Sage Roundtree and Alexandra Desiato and it's it's really a great book it has a lot of information on the benefits of what yoga does to your body as well as instructions on how to do yoga so if you get a chance i borrowed it from my local library um but it's pretty affordable so if you go on amazon you can get it there or your local bookstore and i hope you are all staying safe and kind this summer wherever you are 
Thank you so much. I love hearing from you. Send me a DM or comment on this video and let me know where you're tuning in from and how you're doing. All right. Peace.